Good evening, YouTubers. This is Crypto Big Boss coming to you again with another informative video. And this one is going to be about how the patterns just still are bothering me. I mean, the patterns are just still bothering me. Now, we've been seeing a slump in the crypto market across the space. I've gone ahead and zoomed in really quickly on the changes, the biggest changes in the last 24 hours uh, for the, today, the 22nd of July, 2021. And as you can see, you got Axe Infinity bouncing back at 25% in the last 24 hours, 15% for uh, Terra Luna, last 24 hours, Stellar 13%, uh, Flow 13%, Stacks up 13%, Waves uh, 12% and so on. But what I want you to really pay attention to is over here. Look how similar these patterns are. Does this bother anybody else but me? If you are bothered by these patterns being so similar, please drop a comment in the comment section. I keep talking about how the institutional investors are coming in and how they are the ones that affect these markets. And this looks like computerized trading driven by institutional investors to me. It doesn't matter how far down we go, we see the same U pattern, the same little V pattern, U pattern, every machination, it doesn't matter which one of these, um, these uh, cryptos we pick, it just seems like we've got the same little U pattern. If this was a clearly open market where the millions, you know, and millions of people out there were actually investing in a free for all type of thing, well, some of these would be up, some of these would be down. They would not all have this same pattern. We can go over here and look at all the rest of them and keep on going down. Polkadot, Telcoin, Zill, uh, Zilliqua, all of them have this little you pattern so when i see this it's kind of hard to discern what the projection should be that's why i always go back to their uh white papers to their their websites and determine exactly what i think is the core uh value of the asset that they and blockchain that they are offering understanding what they are doing from a blockchain perspective to solve real world problems is critical to discern determining the value because uh the truth of the matter is is that the millions of people that could be investing in this asset class haven't even come up yet they haven't they haven't stepped forward like they have in the stock market or in other traditional uh methods of investing so uh, I guess we're just going to have to put up with this for a little while. This is an excellent time to be in crypto because you can accumulate um, coins and accumulate as much of what you believe is going to be a future uh, valuable asset without wondering whether um, you're going to get to a point where uh, it's just too expensive to get in. Some people think, well, am I too late? Look, the fact that these patterns are showing you that they are the same, regardless of um, which one you pick, this U pattern is an indication that we are still in the very beginning of this asset class and these blockchains being adopted across the board. So this is not investment advice, but I'm telling you that this has never been a, a better time to go ahead and get in. Let's just take a quick look at uh, Bitcoin and see where we're at. Where we're at. If we go and look at the uh, market cap for uh, Bitcoin, we've crossed above the um, 32,000. We're up today. We were down there at 28,000, maybe even as low as 27, just just a day and a day ago. We can see Ethereum bounce back. It was above $2,000 just for a little while there. Um, we're going to continue to see this cyclical uh, movement in this a asset class, but that should not deter you from understanding the value of these blockchains. So I hope you found this video informative. Please 
If you're not a, uh, a member of this um, particular channel, go ahead and consider subscribing. Throw up the likes, throw up the shares, and I'll catch you on the next one.